Lewis Aveda Reviews. Today we have KFC Justice Iron Paw. Their take on Steel Jaw. So let's start off by what he comes with here. Little tiny piece of paper for instructions. Very simple. Highlighted in red at least. He does come on a little stats collector's card. Pretty cool. Cardboardy. Here's the box he came in. I guess if you want to read that, go ahead and pause it. Cool. Here's the inside. Comes with a little purple set case. And the little man himself. Now, I did put a little Autobot symbol on him. First off, he feels a little light. Here's a Ravage, so. As you see, he's thicker. Definitely thicker. And he feels a lot lighter than Ravage. So he doesn't feel quite... I don't know if they were going for Masterpiece or Generation 1, just like a better version of G1. He's definitely better than G1. I do not have that one, but I do have Ram Horn. So you can see how thin the legs were. And he is a much thinner, so you'll see how much better he looks in Lion Mode. But it's a pretty simple transformation. There is no paint app like the tape paint app here. And even here's the G1. It has a nice tape paint app. Of course not that side. But. So they don't have any kind of paint app. I don't know if uh, Reaper Labels has anything for that. But I'm going to check it out. And unless they come out with something better, I guess I'm just going to keep him here with Blaster. Or Transistor, whichever you want to call him. So let's go ahead and uh, put him in Lion Mode. So here we go, Steel Jaw, or Iron Paw, whatever you want to call him. Anyways, he's kind of loose jointed. This one here is loose on mine, but this one's kind of stiff. There is zero die cast whatsoever. Uh, the plastic doesn't feel the greatest. 
it's kind of cool looking. It's definitely better than the G1. And the guns are kind of neat how that works. And the wings, how that works. You know. Uh, his mouth does open. Okay, that was getting out of hand. Anyway. He does look pretty cool. I'm going to keep him with... Uh, Transistor, blaster, whatever you want to call them for now. Might get reaper labels. I'm gonna see about tightening up this joint because that is pretty loose there. But he's definitely not masterpiece quality. So if you want him and you just want a better G1 or classics, he works for that too. But here he is next to uh, Ravage. You can see it's a significant difference. And there's that loose leg. I don't know. It's pretty cool. Not the greatest, but it's pretty cool. Steel jaw, iron paw, whatever you want to call them. Dun dun dun. All I can say is it's definitely better than a G1. <laughs> if you want to get him, get him. If you don't, don't. He's not too bad. So let's go ahead and put him back in the tape. So here is back in tape form. As you see, pretty simple transformation. Uh, his head's hard to get out. There really is no grip release for me, I guess. If you work at it, you can get it like that. I have a hard time, so I use tweezers. But putting them back together, he's okay. A little loose, not the greatest. But if you don't have a steel jaw, he will suffice. So let's just see real quick here in here now he is like I said thicker significantly thicker but yet he works just fine gets just as stuck as the rest <laughs> anyway so that's it for uh, today's review that was KFC Justice Iron Paw. Their take on Transformers Steel Jaw. Pretty cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and all that good stuff. Have a great day.